There were, there were, there, there were times. I think it's very important that you realize a young, young man going to Parish Island, that he remember that to say yes, sir, to no matter who it is, yes, sir. I just told him to keep in mind when things get tough, you think you can't make it. Thousands of guys went ahead of you, and they made it, and you'll make it. Good luck. So, hi, I'm Mike Whalen, uh, another Marine here today at breakfast, and I've had the pleasure of reconnecting with Tom Shambo, who's uh, enlisted in the Marines and going in uh, next week. Uh, when it came time to give him some advice, all I could think of was the day I left for Paris Island. And uh, that day I went into Boston and uh, flew down south, stopped at a couple of airports along the way, and uh, I had a lot of confidence. So when I got to the airports, I went over to the bar and had a couple of drinks, bought some cigars. A long trip ensued, and by the time I got to Paris Island on the bus, I was sitting in the back of the bus, half awake, half asleep, puffing on a cigar, when this this man, the biggest man I ever saw in my life, showed up at the head of the bus and encouraged us to get off as quickly as possible. Needless to say, it was uh, quite the shock to my system, and uh, I found my way to the yellow footprints. So my advice to Tom was just uh, keep it clean on the way down there and give yourself a break. Thanks. Uh, what made you want to become a Marine? Well, my mom was Navy. My grandfather was Army. Uh, I did a lot of camps when I was a kid to military camps to get ready. And I did Army and Navy, and neither one felt right. And I don't know, the Marine Corps offered a certain challenge that I wanted to overcome. All right, now you leave for Paris Island on August 17th. Are you excited for it? Oh, yes. Yeah, I can't wait to leave. I read that you were attracted to the Marines because of a Marine motto and it reads, every Marine is a rifleman. What does that motto mean to you, and what attracted you to it? Well, what it means to me is that, you know, every Marine's trained the same way. Uh, we all go through infantry training, and even though, you know, I'm an aircraft mechanic, I can still pick up my rifle and jump in with any other Marine, um, you know, because we're all trained the same way. And uh, the reason I like the motto so much is I was on a rifle team for a year, and I grew up with a rifle, so, you know, uh, what made you want to be an aircraft mechanic? Uh, I didn't really get to choose that job. Uh, the way the Marine Corps works is um, you take a test called the ASVAB. And it's an aptitude test. And based on your scores, you can choose certain categories of what you can apply for. Uh, I chose my top three categories, and they gave me aircraft mechanic. All right. I understand you did a lot of preparation already for the Marines, uh, starting back all the way in the eighth grade in which you attended a five-week summer boot camp and leadership program in Kentucky. Uh, can you talk about the preparations you have done so far and at what age did you know you wanted to be in the military? Uh, I knew I wanted to be in the military, uh, I don't know, when I was five. I started off very young. My mom came into school and would talk about the military and it kind of sparked it, I guess. The preparation I've gone through is a five-week uh, boot camp and leadership course down in Kentucky. Uh, I spent a year with the Sea Cadets out of Boston, um, and with them I spent two weeks in Virginia doing their boot camp. Uh, I was a three-sport athlete up until my junior year. Uh, my senior year I didn't wrestle, but I still played football and lacrosse, so I was pretty active my whole high school career. Uh, this past summer, I've been doing a lot of running, pull-ups, and sit-ups, trying to get ready. You feel like you're ready? Yes, as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> now, uh, how old were you when you decided that you wanted to be a Marine? Um, I would say it was after I got out of the Sea Cadets, which was around my sophomore year. All right, perfect. Well, thank you very much, and best of luck to you. Thank you very much.